Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Des and I make beauty and lifestyle videos on this channel. Today's video is going to be my top 25 must-have newborn items. As a first-time mom, I know that I just went ham when it came to buying things for my newborn. But these are the items that I have actually been using. My baby boy is now two months old, so I do have a pretty good idea of what I have been using for my newborn and what I absolutely have not been using. And I will go ahead and try and make a separate video on the things that I have not been using and the things that I totally just haven't even touched because there are seriously products that I really haven't even touched that I spent hundreds of dollars on. So I'm just going to hop right into the video guys. I'm going to try and run through these items pretty quick because there are 25 items and I don't want this to video to be 25 minutes long. So the first product is the Rock and Play and how I have used it is I've had it basically sitting next to my couch all the time and when he falls asleep in my arms or when I'm feeding him and he falls asleep I just put him in that or whenever he's getting kind of fussy and he's already fed and he's changed and everything's fine I'll put him in there and then I'll kind of just rock him in it or I'll turn the vibrator on and that really seems to soothe him a lot. We definitely have used it this first couple of months for sure. The next product that I have recently been loving lately is the Sit Me Up. I'm not sure on the brand. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of Sawyer sitting in his Sit Me Up. All this product is is basically just a little seat, kind of like a bumbo, but I feel like it's more safe than a bumbo because they can't really fall out of it. But he just sits up in there. As soon as they have, you know, somewhat a little bit of control of their neck and their head, then you can go ahead and start using this. And he loves it. He just sits in there and he watches everybody and he... <laughs> It's been kind of a good, like, extra little thing to where if he really needs that mental stimulation, then I can sit him in that, and it really entertains him for quite a while. Next thing that I'm going to mention is receiving blankets, and th this is a receiving blanket. It's just a basic blanket that, um, that you actually, they send you home with one whenever you're in the hospital. It's just a basic blanket. I use these things for so much. I use them to clean up spit up, I use them to cover the car seat, I use them to change him on if we're out and about. Really I just, I always have one of these in my diaper bag because they come in handy for so many things and um, I have probably like 20 of these. You really can't have enough receiving blankets. And of course muslin blankets as well. And this is the muslin blanket. The muslin blankets are the ones that are real soft. Um, they're usually big and you can wrap them in them to swaddle them in. I really love these to just cover him while he's sleeping, usually in the rock and play, or if he's sitting next to me on the couch and I want to cover him, I usually just grab one of these. I did use these to swaddle for a while, but um, I recently discovered this next product that I'm going to show you, and I haven't been swaddling with the muslin blankets anymore. So as I was saying, I've been swaddling with a different product, and that is the Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle, and this is what it looks like. It's just... A little thing that goes uh, it almost reminds me of overalls and then it zips um, it actually zips down and the zippers all the way down here and then once you have them in here there is a velcro side and then another just like plain uh, just another plain side and you can actually swaddle them in this you can pull down their arms and then this part velcros on top or if your baby doesn't like their arms to be swaddled then you can just wrap it around their stomach and that's what I usually do whenever I'm feeding him right before bed and then once he's actually asleep then I'll swaddle his arms so that reflex that babies have doesn't wake him up during the night. The next product I'm going to share with you is called the Wubbinub and this is what the Wubbinub looks like. This is his little elephant one. He actually has two different ones. He has this one and he has the giraffe. Um, he doesn't use this as much anymore but I felt like I should mention them just because he used them a lot when he first was born. At first it's really hard for them to actually keep the pacifier in their mouth when their mouths are so, still so little and they're still learning. And what this does is it kind of weighs the pacifier down in their mouth and also it gives the illusion that somebody is actually has either their hand on them or some type of body part on them kind of keeping them safe and secure and he loved these. He um, he had one next to him basically for the first probably six weeks of his life. The next product I'm going to share with you is the Boppy, and here is mine, and this is what it looks like. Really, you could probably get any type of nursing pillow. I don't think that um, I necessarily needed the Boppy. Sorry guys, I have a grumpy baby now, but anyways, like I was saying, um, I don't think you necessarily need the Boppy. Some type of nursing pillow definitely does come in handy. I'm actually not even breastfeeding and I use mine every single day. Uh, I just like to use it whenever I'm feeding him like and I'm in a chair that's like my rocking chair is where I use it. Um, I will kind of put it around me just to kind of prop him up and make it easier for me to feed him. Um, if you were kind of leery on a boppy, I definitely would recommend one. The next product that I wanted to mention is the Snuzza. 
or snooze that. I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but this is what it looks like. And what this is, it is, it is a um, baby movement monitor. You put it on their diaper when they go to sleep at night. You just clip this little clip onto their diaper and you can put a onesie over it. I put a sleep sack over it and it just monitors their breathing all night. That thing has given me lots of peace of mind at night. Before I started using that, I, um, I would just get a lot of anxiety at nighttime, wondering, you know, I would always check on him. I would find myself like laying my head over into his pack and play, which is where he sleeps, um, just watching him and trying to make sure he was okay. But now that I have that, I know that that thing is going to let me know if anything off is happening. And, um, it's just a really good peace of mind type of product. The next product that I wanted to mention is a bottle warmer. Um, especially if you're a formula feeder or you are um, exclusively pumping, this product is something that I definitely would recommend. He will not take a cold bottle and a lot of babies won't take a cold bottle. So I will just go ahead and throw that in the warmer and he's good to go. I really don't think it matters which bottle warmer you get, but just any bottle warmer, especially if you're formula or pumping. Next thing I wanted to mention is onesies. Um, he got so many cute and adorable outfits for his shower and I bought him so many cute and adorable outfits, but really he, he seriously lives in onesies. He's in a onesie right now and they're just super easy. It's Arizona and it's hot, it's summer, and you cannot have enough onesies. I'm not kidding. The next product that I wanted to mention is a car mirror, and any type of car mirror would, will do. I think mine is the Britax um, brand, but like I said, any car mirror, it has given me lots of peace of mind when we're in the car, just, you know, being able to look into my rear view mirror and make sure that he's okay. The next product that I wanted to mention is a lavender lotion, and I'm just going to show you the one that I use. I use the Burt's Bees Baby um, Nourishing Lotion, and this is the calming one. It's the purple one, and it has lavender in it. and. I am almost, he is two months old and I'm about halfway through this bottle. I use that at nighttime only and he's to the point now where it'll seriously just calm him down every time I put it on, but he tends to really, really do well with the lavender lotion. So if you have a baby that won't sleep at night, definitely try lavender lotion. The next product that I wanted to mention is the pack and play and pack and play, like I mentioned earlier, is what he sleeps in every single night. We did get a different bassinet and it was like one of the most suggested bassinets and I had to have it and it was over hundred dollars but he actually uses his pack and play and like I said he just he loves it he sleeps in it for seven to eight hours every night the next product is a play mat and I don't even know what brand my play mat is um, but he loves the play mat the next product I wanted to mention is just any type of baby wear so a wrap um, I know they have the Moby they have different types of um, wraps but what I have is actually just a baby carrier, so it actually like clips on, and I have the Infantino brand. It's just the cheap one at Walmart, and I use it, you know, a couple times a week. Usually when he is um, just grumpy or going through a growth spurt or whatever, and he's just crying all day, then I will have to wear him because he wants me to hold him all day. And so that thing has really come in handy when I'm like trying to clean the house or just just get things done around here. I will use that and he really enjoys being in there he just passes out the next product that I didn't even really think that I would use that much and I ended up with tons of them are bibs I seriously have probably over a hundred bibs and I seriously have probably used almost every single one of them now I really didn't think that I was gonna use all the bibs that I got I thought that I would use burp rags and that's what I tried to use for the first little little couple of weeks but it just it's so much easier to just throw a burp, uh, bib on them and feed them like that and then what I do when I burp him is I just kind of flip the bib like to where it's laying on my shoulder and then he if he spits up or whatever then he spits up right on the bib and that's how I have found it to be convenient for us we love bibs next product that I products that I wanted to mention obviously you need a car seat and a stroller but what I would recommend is just buying a travel system from the get-go buy a car seat and a stroller that go together so that you can snap your car seat into your stroller. I've used that since I think he was three days old when we first used the stroller. We just went down down the street and back for a walk pretty much. Next product I wanted to mention and I'm going to try my best to show you this um, with him in my arms but this is, is the Milk Snob car, car seat cover and it just it just looks like this. That thing can be used for multiple things. It can be used as a nursing cover if you are nursing. It can be used as a car seat cover and it can also be used as a shopping cart cover. 
The next product I wanted to mention is the Mommy's Bliss Gripe Water, and this is what it looks like. You can literally get this at any um, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, whatever. You can get it anywhere really now. It's such a popular product. But what this product is for is, um, it says on the bottle that it relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas, colic, fussiness, and hiccups. Um, I've used it on him for hiccups, and I've used it on him for just general fussiness. And especially when he's at nighttime, when he's just so restless, and I know he's just exhausted, but he's fighting it, I'll give him, I'll just, just put a couple of little drops in his bottle, and he just totally like mellows out. It's like taking a shot of tequila for babies, really. The next product that I wanted to mention is a baby bathtub. I couldn't imagine like not having a bathtub. Like what, I mean, I know that they used to put babies in the sink and stuff, but that just sounds like too much of a hassle to me. So definitely invest in a baby bath. Next, I wanted to mention pacifier clips. Basically all this does is just clips onto them. He has one on him right now. I don't think I can show you, but he has the pacifier clip on the pacifier that he's using right now. And it's actually connected to his onesie that he's wearing. I need a pacifier all day, literally all day long. He just has a pacifier clip on him all the time. With any pacifier, he's not even picky about the pacifier. And that is a product that I use every day, all day. Next thing I wanted to mention was a changing table. And I, I had heard a lot of moms say that they'd never use their changing tables, but I use my changing table every day. I've made the mistake of putting him down in my bed and changing him, trying to change him in his crib or trying to change him wherever, you know, on the couch. He has peed or pooped everywhere. The next product that I wanted to mention, baby towels and baby washcloths for bath time. I wasn't sure that I was gonna use these either, obviously, because you have washcloths in your house, you have towels in your house, but I definitely do use the baby towels a lot because you can cover their heads with them whenever you're done bathing them. And that's definitely, you know, when you're done bathing them, they're freezing. So, and if you cover their head and their feet, then they're usually warm up pretty quick. Yeah, I definitely use the baby towels and baby washcloths every bath. Um, the baby washcloths are just soft and they're little and you don't have to worry about, you know, having this big old rag in their little bathtub and they work really well. Next thing I wanted to mention is a big diaper bag. I have seen moms with like these little diaper bags or these little backpacks and I'm like, how do you fit all your crap in there? I don't know. I keep everything in my diaper bag. I mean, it's best to be prepared. Um, maybe it's first time mom syndrome, but I personally keep everything in my diaper bag. I personally have the Petunia Pickle Bottom boxy backpack. Um, if you want to learn more about that backpack or to see more, actually see it, I will link my what's in my baby's hospital bag video down below because I talk more about that diaper bag in that video. The next product I wanted to mention is a formula divider and this is what a formula divider looks like. Ours is a the Philips event brand. It just came in like a bottle set that we got. What this is, is it goes in your diaper bag or where but you just separate, it has all little compartments in there and you separate your formula into the different compartments and then this lid opens up and you just pour the formula into a bottle with water in it and you shake it up. It's already portioned out for you and you don't have to worry about scooping formula. You can use this on the go. Um, I use this every time we go somewhere and he needs a bottle, obviously. The last product that I'm going to be talking about today is the Windy and this is by Frida Baby. Um, here's the box, my box. This is what it looks like. Um, they also make like the nose, what is it called? The Nose Frida, I think it's called. And they make like the nail clippers. This this brand makes a lot of different um, products that are all really, really good. All the ones that I've tried personally. Um, what the Windy is, here's some TMI for you, is if your baby is constipated or if you can tell that your baby has some gas that he can't get rid of, then what you will do is you, they're little, let me take out one to show you guys. They just look like this, and this little part right here, I don't wanna to touch it because it's brand new, but you put it in their little butt and it basically clears out any gas or, um, or poop that they have stuck in there. I personally have used those a couple of times whenever he got constipated or whenever he was just kind of fussy and I knew that it was due to gas um, and he has done fine with them, it doesn't hurt them. Um, it makes them feel better. So yeah guys, those are all the products that I could think of. That's a lot of products in my opinion, but babies need so much stuff. These are all products that I'm definitely so happy that I decided to invest in. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to see more of these types of videos in the future, if you guys like my mommy videos, then please let me know in the comments. And um, if you haven't already, 
please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!